Kanye West makes final decision on his album with Dollar Sign. Recently, news broke out that Ty leaked one of Kanye's manicure videos, which instantly became a hot topic of discussion. No, I just, I'm not going to do the rest of it. I got it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Oh, it's a, no, it's just the... Oh, no, it's my toes. It's my toes. Sorry? It's my toes. The leaked video quickly made headlines, leaving fans and critics in confusion. Was this a deliberate act of betrayal or just an unfortunate misunderstanding? This incident seemingly caused a fallout between the two artists. However, this is all now in the past because reports have surfaced that Kanye has been actively searching for a distribution partner and surprisingly, Ty has been by his side throughout the process. Kanye was hosting open tryouts to figure out who's going to distribute his new album. A lot of people are confused why he doesn't have a distributor already and won't distribute the album through good music. Despite their apparent fallout, it seems that these two artists understand the value of their collaboration and are willing to put their differences aside for the sake of their upcoming album because both have been shopping the record around and are reportedly considering five different offers. A source told Billboard that Kanye will make a decision soon as the record is expected to be released in the next few weeks. One such possible company is still lost. The music distribution and publishing company that launched in 2021 and currently represents West Rides on YouTube. According to reports, the project still has record industry executives weighing the risks and rewards of releasing Kanye's music. Interestingly though, some who have heard the music say it is Kanye West's best music in at least five years since 2018's Yay. Still speaking of the album, Kanye seemingly has his eyes firmly fixed on the prize, determined to rise above the drama and deliver music that will leave us all in awe because there are reports that have confirmed the album is going to feature a collaboration with none other than Nicki Minaj. The track titled New Body has fans eagerly anticipating what this trio has in store for them. Since being leaked online along with multiple other songs, the song has received positive reviews and has been noted for being a highlight among other leaked tracks and surprisingly critics have praised Kanye's reworked Christian lyrics for being more positive and respectful and as for Nikki her presence on the album adds an extra layer of excitement and anticipation now for those eagerly awaiting the album's release there have been some concerns about whether the traditional listeners party will still take place fear not because it is indeed happening. Despite ongoing rumors and speculation about the event being banned or cancelled, the latest update reveals that the new slated date for the party is October 20th. In fact, preparations for the event are well underway, with stage construction at the RFC Arena still ongoing. Kanye himself has reportedly visited the site and given positive confirmation, further solidifying the fact that the party is a go. It is clear that he is determined to create an unforgettable experience for his fans. Additionally, it seems that Kanye is leaving no stone unturned when it comes to taking care of his team. Hotel rooms have already been reserved, ensuring that everyone involved will have a comfortable and convenient stay during this exciting time. Unfortunately, for those who were hoping for another project between Kanye and Mike Dean, it seems like it won't be happening for this new album. Mike Dean, known for his incredible production skills, has made it clear that he has no involvement in this project. And while it is disappointing to some fans, it opens up the opportunity for new and exciting collaborations. For those who do not know who we are talking about, Mike Dean is a renowned producer, engineer, and musician who has been an integral part of Kanye's music journey since the early 2000s. Their partnership began on Kanye's debut album, The College Dropout, where Dean contributed his exceptional production skills to several tracks. From that point on, their collaboration only grew stronger, with Dean becoming a trusted and valued member of Kanye's creative team. Their collaboration has produced some of Kanye's most iconic albums, including Let Registration, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, and Yeezus. On these projects, Mike Dean's contribution as a producer, mixer, and musician have been instrumental in shaping the sonic landscape and creating the distinct sound that defines Kanye's music. 
Beyond their professional relationship, Kanye and Mike also share a deep personal bond. They have been known to spend countless hours in the studio together, experimenting, refining, and perfecting their craft. This level of dedication and mutual respect has undoubtedly contributed to the success of their collaboration. So it's understandable why some fans are feeling a type of way about Mike's absence on Kanye's new album. But away from the sad beat, let's focus on the exciting part, the album itself. It is believed that this upcoming project will be Kanye's greatest work to date. Combining elements from his previous albums, The Life of Pablo, and The College Dropout, the album is expected to deliver a unique blend of sound and production. So what does this mean? You should anticipate a mix of Kanye's introspective and experimental style from the life of Pablo with the raw and soulful essence of the college dropout. This fusion promises to create a truly remarkable listening experience because life of Pablo was a game changer. In fact, a living, breathing piece of art. The album's mix of genres, ranging from rap to gospel to R&B, created a captivating and unpredictable listening experience with its standout tracks like Ultralight Beam, Famous, and Waves, which showcased Kanye's ability to blend various musical styles seamlessly. On the other hand, the college dropout was a breath of fresh air in the rap scene as it challenged the prevailing gangster rap narrative and introduced a more vulnerable and introspective side of hip-hop with tracks like Through the Wire, Jesus Walks, and All Falls Down, which also showcased Kanye's storytelling abilities and his knack for addressing social issues. So, the combination of these albums is definitely going to create a unique listening experience that bridges the gap between different eras of Kanye's career, which is going to allow fans to appreciate the evolution of his sound and witness the artistic journey he has embarked on, something that is surely going to spark conversations about the influence of past works on present creations and the ways in which artists can continue to innovate while staying true to their roots. Ultimately, for Kanye, it seems like everything is coming together for this epic event and his new album. But if you enjoyed this video and want to stay in the loop with all things Kanye and Ty and their upcoming collaborative album, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll keep you updated on all the latest news and developments. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.